Well, this is the real AIX here. Hold on. You still there? Hello? Hello? Hold on. This thing is. Hello? Hello? Well, apparently there are some little kids supposed to be trapped in some balloon. I truly believe that there is some truth and some false to this story. You still there? Hello? Hold on, let me do this real quick. Hello? Yeah, we're making a video right now about the situation, son. All right. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I'm the real AIX, and I'm on the phone with the real Helen Bat, also back from hell. So we've been What's watching this. Huh? What do you say, son? On? What? I said, what's going on? What's going on is this little boy stuck in this little fake ass UFO. <laughs> oh, shit. So, I personally think that this is a cover up. I don't know. I'm just getting cover up from this. As small as this thing up. is. It yeah. Once, once again, we're watching it land again. Um, first of all, I think it's too small. To hold a little kid up like that, and since I've been watching this for two hours, ain't no little big kid been inside of it. None of that. We've been led to believe for the last two hours that there's been a little kid inside of this thing, and now they're saying there's a basket on the bottom. Um, if there was a basket on the bottom, I would have seen it on the news two hours ago. There is no basket. There is no little kid. I believe this is a cover up. Damn it, I yep. said it. What do you think? It's a cover up. I mean, for them to focus on a balloon and make up some fake ass story that a six year old little kid is on inside of it is bullshit. I think so it's too. This is bullshit. If a six year old kid was inside some fucking basket, we would have saw a basket on the news. If the basket fell off, then the focus would not have been on the balloon, but the little kid in the basket that fell off. If this is my fucking kid in this goddamn balloon, I would see that the basket that my son rolled up in the air in is not on the basket. I mean, if, the, if there's no basket on the balloon, my son is dead. Period. Why are we focusing on some balloon? Exactly. Hold on. I guess the balloon is more important than the kid. Exactly. Hey, you two, come here. Come here, you guys. Quick, quick, quick. So, um, you know, I'm trying to get a couple other people's perspective in here. It's not just me and back from hell. I mean, come on, man. This thing has been flying around for hours. Everybody has been focused for hours on some little kid trapped inside this contraption. Not outside of it in a basket, but inside of it. This big ass balloon has been flying around for a couple of hours now with no basket on the bottom of it to be seen. It lands exactly on a military base. What's to say that it hasn't flown up and down that military base for 30 minutes with a helicopter flying around it from the military base in which it landed in. You know what I'm saying? It's a cover up, man. It's a cover up. This is a cover up, I believe. There's no way in life we could have been watching. And look, and look, all they're saying on the news is the distance is travel. The distance is travel. The distance, how many miles is travel? How many miles? Where are the parents? 
Where and are... They haven't, even named, they haven't named the parents at all. Where are the parents and why haven't they named the parents? This right here is the first example of digital hijacking. They've digital, digitally hijacked our airways, showed us one picture of a balloon. We never saw a basket with a kid in it. It's 7,000 feet in the air before we even got to see it. It has to start off from zero feet to get to 7,000. And now there's reports of someone saying that they saw a basket fall from this aircraft, which is a Kevlar balloon of some sort. There's helicopters searching the area. CNN, whatever news agency you're watching, I'm telling you, something ain't right. I learned a long time ago, it smells funny. And it looks funny. Look, and they're telling you that the video you're watching is a still picture of the balloon. Word your witches, wishes correctly. And these guys, they're showing a picture of it right now. This is breaking news. This is supposed to be a picture of something falling. This is not. Do you believe it? I am not believing this to have a picture of an object which looks as if it has fallen. It's a cover up, man. I believe it is a cover up. There's something flying around in the Denver area that people cannot explain. Like I was and told you before, they went up there to try to blow up the moon. Yes, and we've we've made people we're pulling people's heartstrings by saying it's a little kid trapped in a basket, which the basket has fallen off. You've shown a sphere like aluminum balloon for two hours with no basket on the bottom now you're saying there's a bottom with a basket and the basket must have fallen off and it shows and the guys are showing on seeing in the distance from the trees and they're showing an image falling and they're zooming in the image They have pictures. Of course, on CNN, they have pictures. We've also seen pictures of 9-11, right? And we also saw little holes blow out as the floors come down. We've also been told that a building falls over, not collapses. And we're also saying that maybe there's a spot on the ground where something may have hit in a rural community. I would hate to see a real child die in a situation. I wish this is a cover-up. But to see a photograph of something falling off something that looks like a UFO is insane. What are we actually saying? What actually flew by? And what actually happened? I can't call it. The picture is going on that they, they they don't want us to know, so they have to put make up a fake ass story about a six year old kid stuck inside that little balloon. Exactly. You know what? Something is going on. And them fools been too.